Olympic National Park is a true gem in the Pacific Northwest. Covering nearly a million acres, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to diverse ecosystems from lush rainforests to rugged coastlines and snow-capped mountains. In today's video, I'll take you through 10 must-visit spots in this incredible park, perfect for any adventure lover. So let's dive into the beauty and wonder of Olympic National Park. If you're new here, hi, I'm Brenda from Bon Voyage Brenda, and this channel is where I share my best travel tips, tricks, and my own adventures from around the world. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. I recently visited Olympic National Park for the second time. I went on a solo camping trip. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it here. And it is one of my favorite national parks. With so many amazing things to see and do, it can be hard to decide which ones to include on your trip. There are really endless possibilities for hiking and outdoor adventures, but there are some things that are better than others. So today I'm gonna give you my top 10 places to visit an Olympic National Park. These are not in any particular order, but the last one is a hidden gem that you've probably never heard of. So make sure that you stay tuned to the end because you are not gonna to wanna to miss that. Number one on my list is Lake Crescent. Located in the northern section of the park on Highway 101, just 20 miles east of Port Angeles, Lake Crescent is renowned for its brilliantly blue, clear water. During the warmer summer months, there's no shortage of recreational activities. Kayaking and paddleboarding are popular as well as swimming near the shore or at popular swimming areas like Devil's Punch Bowl. Surrounded by mountains and lined by forests, the tranquil landscape makes the water as stunning as it is refreshing. You can also explore hiking trails around the lake like Merrimere Falls Trail and Spruce Railroad Trail. Though some areas can get very crowded, you can take a drive around the lake and discover a number of smaller beaches where you're sure to find some peace and solitude. Number two on the list is Solduck Hot Springs. Located just a 25 minute drive off Highway 101 and about an hour from Port Angeles, Solduck Hot Springs Resort features soothing mineral hot spring pools where you can relax and unwind. There are four pools, each with different temperatures to suit your liking. The entrance fee as of summer 2024 is $18 for adults for a one and a half hour session. And if you're camping, a bonus here is that they have locker rooms with hot showers. None of the campgrounds in Olympic National Park have shower facilities. So this is a nice place to hit mid camping trip to get a shower. Number three is Soul Duck Falls. If you continue up Soul Duck Road from the resort for a few minutes, you'll find yourself at the parking lot for Soul Duck Falls Trailhead. This easy 1.8 mile out and back section of the longer Soul Duck Nature Trail will take you through a stunning temperate forest filled with old growth trees, babbling brooks, and lush undergrowth. It's one of the most beautiful walks in the park. At the end of the short section, you'll be rewarded with the breathtaking sight of Soul Duck Falls, where cascading waters plunge into a mossy gorge. I highly recommend visiting either early in the morning or later in the evening because the parking lot gets completely full in the middle of the day. I've seen people parked for miles down the road and then you have to walk that extra distance to get to the trail. Number four on my list is Kalalock Beach. Kalalock Beach is one of the most southern beaches in the park and it's the only beach that has a campground attached to it, offering several oceanfront sites. The beach is a popular spot for exploring tide pools or catching a sunset. The most iconic feature is the Tree of Life, also known as the Kalalock Tree. It's a Sitka spruce that defies the odds by clinging to life despite having most of its roots exposed and suspended in the air due to erosion. Number five on my list is Ruby Beach. Ruby Beach is located just a few minutes north of Kalalock Beach. It's one of the most popular beaches in the park. Its popularity is well-deserved as its dramatic landscapes are some of the most beautiful you will ever see. As you make the short descent from the parking lot and the beach comes into view, the sea stacks rising from the water, shrouded in fog and crowned with their own miniature forests and ecosystems, it creates an ethereal sense of stepping into another world. To get to the beach, you'll need to scramble over some large piles of driftwood, some of which are creatively fashioned into forts, chairs, and other interesting structures. Once on the sand, you can stroll along the beach, explore the tide pools, climb the sea stacks, and enjoy the views of the mighty Pacific. 
Number six on my list is Hurricane Ridge. Hurricane Ridge is located just 17 miles from Port Angeles. The scenic drive up Hurricane Ridge Road will take you about an hour and it culminates in one of the most epic vistas you will ever see without the effort of a hike. Panoramic views of the snow-capped peaks and glaciers of the Olympic Mountain Range on one side and the misty waters of the Strait of Juan de Fuca on the other will leave your jaw agape. The short 0.25 mile Meadow Ridge Trail connects the two viewpoints from the parking lot and during the summer, it's filled with wildflowers. Along the trail, you may also catch glimpses of deer or marmot. For 360 degree views, you can hike the short but steep High Ridge Nature Trail to Sunrise Point. Or if you want more of a challenge, you can tackle one of the longer trails which begin from the parking lot. Number seven on my list is Second Beach. Located near the town of La Push, Second Beach is a picturesque blend of dramatic coastline dotted with sea stacks and tide pools teeming with marine life. There is so much to love about Second Beach. To reach this secluded spot, you'll need to traverse a 0.8 mile trail through a lush temperate forest. The hike is almost as enjoyable as the beach in my opinion. As you step onto the beach, you're likely to encounter a dense blanket of fog, which is typical for this part of the coast. The hazy shroud makes the sea stacks look like ghostly ships floating near the shoreline. If you wait around a while, the fog will probably lift a little and you'll be able to enjoy the epic views and wondrous tide pools in a whole new light. Number eight on my list is Rialto Beach. Located just a little north of Second Beach, Rialto Beach feels like a whole other world. The beach is primarily covered with smooth pebbles, stones, and piles of driftwood, and during high tide, the sand may be completely submerged. During low tide, when the flatter sand provides an easier walking surface, the main attraction is a 1.3 mile each way hike along the sand to Hole in the Wall. Hole in the Wall is a striking natural arch carved into a rugged rock formation. When the tide is out, the archway is surrounded by tide pools brimming with sea stars and anemones, and it offers a dramatic frame for viewing the raw natural beauty of the Pacific Ocean. Number nine is arguably the most popular area in the park, the Ho Rainforest. Located about an hour southeast of Forks, the Ho Rainforest offers a glimpse into an ancient forest filled with towering Sitka spruces and big leaf maples, many of which are centuries old. The Instagram famous 0.8 mile Hall of Mosses loop trail winds through these ancient groves cloaked in a thick vibrant green tapestry of willowy mosses. Giant verdant ferns and lush vegetation carpet the forest floor creating a sense of timelessness and tranquility. The trail's popularity can lead to long wait times at the entrance station as well as large crowds along the trail. Once the parking lot is full, the park operates on a one car in and one car out entrance system. These lines can get ridiculously long. Try to get there really early or go later in the evening or if you are camping in the park, Ho Rainforest actually has a campground and if you can get a spot there, then going in in the evening to your campground and getting up early in the morning or going like right before sunset to walk the Hall of Mosses trail is your best bet to get a little bit of serenity and really enjoy it without the crowds. My final spot on this list is one that you've probably never heard of, but if you love the Hall of Mosses in the Ho Rainforest, you are absolutely going to love number 10 on my list, the Quinault Rainforest. This hidden gem is located in the southern portion of the park along the Quinault Lake Loop. The Quinault Rainforest offers all the magic and awe of the Ho Rainforest without the crowds. Just a few miles off Highway 101, you'll find a nearly empty parking lot with the visitor center and the Maple Glade Rainforest Trailhead. This easy 0.5 mile loop trail meanders through one of the most beautiful sections of the Quinault Rainforest. Complete with giant Sitka spruces draped in velvety blankets of willowy moss and ferns so large they seem Jurassic, this trail will take your breath away. And the best part is, you'll likely have it all to yourself. Well, those were my 10 must-see places in Olympic National Park. If you have a different place that you love, leave it down in the comments because I would love to know maybe I haven't been there or help out your fellow travelers and give them some more ideas of places to visit. Also, if you have another national park that you'd like me to talk about, maybe I've been there or maybe I need to go there, leave that in the comments as well. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.